everyone, and welcome to Fredericton, New Brunswick. My name is Arian from CUSN.ca, and today I'm exploring the province's capital city. But I thought it'd be a little bit more fun and interesting if I explored the city with somebody who knows Fredericton really well. So I want to introduce you all to Mike Corey. <coughs> Mike? Hey. Hey. <laughs> he is a filmmaker, he has a degree in marine biology, but most importantly for this video, he is born and raised here in Fredericton. So I think you know a thing or two about the city. I do, actually. I went to the university right there, spent 30 years of my life in the city. I travel a lot, but when I'm not traveling, I like to come back here because it's absolutely beautiful this summer. Amazing. It is New Brunswick's capital for arts and education and pretty damn good beer too, actually. Ooh, I like sounds of that. <laughs> so you're going to show me your favorite spots around the city. Yeah. What are you going to do first? So right now we're on the north side green, and one cool thing about Fredericton is it's really, really green. And so there's walking trails all through the city, biking <laughs> trails too, and there's the walking bridge, and actually if you follow this, it leads to one of the best views in Fredericton, which is on the north side green. So we'll let me start here. Perfect, let's do it. Coming into Fredericton, the first thing that you see is this bridge right behind me. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Mm -hmm. This is the walking bridge. So it is probably one of the top, it's definitely like top five things to see in the city. Yeah. This, this bridge actually used to be for trains. And a lot of these walking trails we've been on actually used to be train tracks. Mm -hmm. And like mid 90s, they gutted all the train tracks out and turned a lot of them into walking trails. Hmm. Probably one of the nucle nuclei of, of <laughs> being active in this city, if I want to use a big word that I don't need to use. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what age you are, young or old, this yeah. is kind of where you come and you walk across. You might go to the other side, walk back. If you're running in the city, you usually run across the bridge. If you're having a night out with friends and you're a teenager or a young adult in university, you usually walk along the bridge yeah. because there's great views, lots of people. Yeah. It's really a nice, a nice spot in the city. Welcome to the historic garrison district of Fredericton. Awesome, what is it? What's is it? the district? Yes, yeah, so this is Queen Street, one of the two main streets in downtown Fredericton. Mm -hmm. Queen and King, and I would say pretty much all of the action happens, downtown Fredericton action happens in these two streets. Okay. So Queen Street is famous for having, I would say, most of, of Fredericton's landmarks. So okay. City Hall is just right there, Sports Hall of Fame, Library, Officer Square, the Lighthouse is just a little bit around the corner. Yep. It's like the place to come walk and see the sites of Fredericton. Mm -hmm. So this is the Garrison District and actually this area here is filled with arts and crafts. A lot of festivals, lots of, um, actually they have Saturday night movies here. There's nice. music that's played, there's art, um, art craft centers where you can buy stuff. You can come, you can be a soldier, you can live olden days and there's actually people over there you can see them role playing right now living back at soldier wood what yeah, that cool. sounds like fun mm, cool. <laughs> and do you know like are the buildings original these are the original buildings yeah and we're quite proud of that so yeah. all of them have been renovated to suit different like, as museums or like i said someone can come show their handicrafts or just kind of like an arts related area that's yeah. all all this here all in here. District. yeah perfect All right, lunchtime. Where are we? What are we doing? The Pallet Restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we're on Queen Street, where a lot of the action happens in the city. Okay. There's lots of awesome restaurants, and I picked this one because it's really quite famous for its lunches. They've got really good lunch pasta. They have really good lunch specials where you come and you get a sandwich and a soup together. It's pretty cheap, mm -hmm. and it's really local. So for business lunches, meeting a friend, this is like one of the most delicious and most famous spots in mm -hmm. So what do you recommend on the menu? So I would say go with that lunch pasta or go with that lunch soup sandwich combo. So you really just can't go wrong? That's right. Okay. So like one of everything? One, one of everything. One of everything? <laughs> Who's paying? <laughs> Now that we've had, gotten some food in our systems, I want to do a little quick Q&A rapid fire questions with you. I think I'm ready. Yeah. They're not personal questions, are they? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I can't make any guarantees. All right, hit me. Okay. First one, what do the people of Fredericton call themselves? Fredertonians. Okay. Easy, next <laughs> Easy, question. easy, next right? Question. Okay, your favorite thing about the city? About the city? Yeah. I really like, I think it's one of 
the most beautiful cities in the summertime. Yeah. Uh, I like how people are always outside mm -hmm. and having fun. I like Queen Street a lot. I think mm -hmm. it's beautiful by the water next to Lighthouse, the walking bridge. I think it's just a great city to just have a little walk, sunset time next mm -hmm. to the water. What's the worst thing about the city? The worst thing about the city is I feel that all those things I just said, people don't realize you can do. Uh, what do you think is the <clears throat> biggest misconception people have of Fredericktonians? As a whole? Uh, I don't even know okay. that we like to party, okay. which is not really a misconception, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, kind of there's a really big beer scene here, and mm -hmm. there's two universities, and those kids love to party. Yeah. So it can get a bit wild here at, at, certain, at certain points. Yeah. Favorite memory you have of being here in the city? Mm. Uh, lots, actually. We, when I was a kid, we used to go out to, um, it was called the Bucket Club at the time, but Hart Island, and that was the first time I'd ever been out on kayaks and canoes yeah. on the St. John River here. And the whole river is filled with these beautiful islands. And a lot of small rivers feed into the St. John River, so you can go up to Nashua and have a really kind of cool nature experience. Or explore the islands in the river, and it's like you have your own private oh, island nice. to yourself. It's really awesome. Yeah. Final question. Describe the city in three words. Oh, man. Um, I would say it's a very cool city. It's cool. like a trendy city. Okay. I would say it's quite a, um, a be yourself kind of city. Okay. We'll take that as one word, be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I would use the word nature to describe it as well. Nature. So cool, be yourself, and nature. Nature's not really a natural. Green. How's that? Green. That works. Green work. So cool, be yourself, and green. Awesome. You can see that wasn't so bad. No, that was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just shaking a little bit. Just a little? Okay. <laughs> so I think now what we should do is work off some of this lunch. Right. So I we talked about going out in the river, and I mm -hmm. think there's a really good spot. It's called Second Nature. Okay. You can rent stand up paddle boards, kayaks, canoes, and it's a good old time. Let's do it. All right, so after that epic meal, I feel like we need to do a little bit of physical activity. I'm seeing some life jackets. What are we doing? <laughs> Welcome to the Small Craft Aquatic Center. Mm -hmm. This is where you come in the city to rent paddle boards, kayaks, canoes, whatever you want, yeah. to jump on the St. John River because right. the St. John River is one of the most iconic things in this city. So I think it's one of the best activities because you can see an awesome view. You can explore the islands, go up the little rivers that connect, and also go around the bridge piers, and it's a lot of fun. So awesome. we're here, and we're going to rent something, whatever you're comfortable okay. with. Okay, sweet. Let's do it. So, mm -hmm. in Fredericton, yeah. in the past few years, the craft beer, craft cider, craft everything scene has really exploded. Yeah. So, uh, me being a Fredertonian, uh, I would say that Picaroons paved the way quite a while ago okay. for, for how cool and amazing craft beer was yeah. in the city. And they did some great things. And they opened the doors and they, they were quite um, friendly, it seemed, to other breweries come and, and leave their footprint as well. So nice. this one is called Red Rover and just opened earlier this year and it's the Cider House. You can come here and try some local ciders. And the fall. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so Mike, fantastic day today. Yes, it was. If you had to sum up why people 
should come here, make this a getaway destination and not just a drive-through destination, what would you tell them? Yeah, I, I think it's the, the city is very unique in the sense that it is not one of the biggest city. Well, it's the third biggest city in the province. There's only about 60, 70,000 people here. Yeah. But for me, I always try to make it a point to come back in my world travels to Fredericton for about a month every summer because I think it is absolutely beautiful. Everyone's outside. You can play on the river. Yeah. There's lots of great things to drink. And as far as activities go, you've got scuba divers and break dancers and parkour guys and basically all of the cool highlights of a big city in a small city. Mm -hmm. We're pretty trendy here, we're pretty unique, and it is a awesome spot to be. So I always try to come back. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day, showing me around, giving me a unique perspective on the city because I got to see it through your eyes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure you check out Mike's YouTube channel, Kick the Grind. Also, don't forget to subscribe to mine as well so you can stay up to date with all of my latest travel adventures. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. <laughs>